all right guys welcome to another video in this video i want to quickly show you how to set up your main top for an excellent print uh, but to start i would have to you know quickly show you how to install main top so that you know if this is your first time if it's not your first time uh you can just keep the part where you install but if this is your first time you can just watch regardless so uh I have my main top files in a certain folder. It, it might be in another folder for you, but it doesn't matter. So you open main top. This is not going to be a video about how to install, but how to set up. So I won't really do much about the setup. For you. Okay. So click on here, like here, main top, run the installation. It wouldn't take long, it's about less than a second, a minute. And then when it's done, it's going to pop up. Something about main top is failed. Ignore it. Just say restart later or restart if you want to. You cancel that, close this stuff, and then open main top proper. So when you open main top, uh, so the your color setting is going to be defined by the kind of color driver that you're using. So in my case, I use a Yinge uh, G model, and I'm able to use this particular uh, color driver. It sits here. So I'm just going to go into that folder. How you install a color driver find that folder and then whatever folder the color driver is on your side is what you click on in my case it's a new folder and then it's inside the folder called color driver and i'm gonna just click on that and then install it so you see that easyjet uh, 15w that is my color driver to make it easy for next time sake i'll just set as default printer you can ignore the rest because they belong to something else so then you click okay you come back here and then click new right and here it's going to give you all of those settings like a4 and all of that so we're just going to click ok for this purpose by the way some quick tip in case you want to change because if you look at a page setup here now these things are in millimeters right uh, if you want to change it from millimeters to say another si unit this is where you could do it you click cancel go to options then unit change it from inch from millimeters to inch and inch and then you click ok Forget about these sides, I don't really use them. So I click OK. Now, um, we need to call up a file. So to call up a, a particular file, we need to then go to Coral Draw to export the proper file that we want. A nice color output will be determined by how you export in the first place. So let's go to main uh, Coral Draw. I have some designs here I did for a customer just yesterday. I'm going to pick any one of them. I'll just click on this one and then I'll export it always remember to export as a tif file so you click on tif and then you go to uh, i think it's youtube mash it's just anywhere you want i could just go to de documents and then just export it here so make sure it's tif click export um here you must leave it as cmyk color why because you're going to be using a cmyk printer so you have to leave there as CMYK. Uh, if your job had transparency, you can check transparency. But in this case, we're just going to print all the block of it. So you click OK. Now that we've done that, it's going to show you this icon here that's still exporting. When that icon is off, you're ready to roll. So you click on here and then we'll go to File, Import Picture. Uh, we'll go to there. Now it's Documents this time around. So go to Documents and then we'll find him there somewhere that's him so click ok and then accept so the file comes into this place let me show you what it looks like if you don't export a same way so let's just say i pick a random file uh from the same folder so that'll be black box queen's meal and then i'm gonna pick the same file right but it's not tmyk and it's not TIM. You can easily see the difference between the two colors and that's basically how it's just going to pop this one is a lot sharper this one is a, a kind of dull so that's basically how it's going to come out because this one is rgb so you you're, ex, you're exporting with a red green blue color profile this one is exporting with a cmyk color profile so the, the density of colors and how those colors are represented digitally is going to be different so that's why you have to first do that make sure you export as cmyk tif very very important and then you click cancel and then you bring it in so now when you bring it in let's go to the juicy part so when you go to print you can either press this to go to print or you press ctrl p on your screen both of them take you here now 
um so you always have to notice that you see that easy jet 15w y printer now a quick tip if you click on control p and you don't see this interface you don't see easy jet you don't see y printer you see some wild thing here like uh, pdf or something it means you don't have the uh, it means you don't have the color driver installed on your system so just go quickly and install that color driver and then you'll find this page so some of the first things we need to do uh, as per color settings is the rgb gamma the more rgb gamma you have the denser the color so for my own purpose i like to leave this place as 1.2 it's fine for me that way and then uh, properties you click on properties this is where the bulk of the work is right so the first thing you need to adjust here is the resolution if you leave the file as 360 by 1080 it's going to run your machine at that resolution and number one resolutions of 360 by 1080 is the for my color driver is the highest resolution so when you set it like this right especially if you match it with this uh, particular print media color saturation right this one it says 360 by 1080 but it says six pass saturation what you're doing printing at this particular resolution is that you're printing at the maximum resolution of your printer head that is perfect because you're going to get the sharpest color like the like everything is just going to be perfect the only problem is though you might be running your printer head dead faster than it ought to do so that's why i wouldn't use that resolution now six pass means that the, your machine has to pass six times which means it has to go from right to left left to right right to left left to right and it's going to do that six times that's what six pass is so i've noticed that if i have six pass number one i use a lot of ink so my printer head wears faster if i use that resolution so we devised the method of getting a sharp print uh, and then still uh, use the, the least amount of resource but if quality is more important to you than uh, the cost then you can always adjust this in some printers i think there's even eight pass or something if your color driver supports that right if your color driver supports that architecture you can always use it by all means experiment these things right just on a day maybe a saturday when you're less busy or even a sunday after church somewhere in the evening you can just go to your 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 machine and then start messing with these things because that's how i knew some of these things i just went there i just started messing with them till i found what i want so in my case i would use 360 by 720 dots per inch All right which also uh marries with maybe whatever it is you set on your computer so then and then in this place i just use four pass you notice here i have four pass six pass four pass saturation and then six pass saturation in this case, i just use four pass which means it's going to pass four times now another thing is when you use a lower pass it means that your machine will print faster so if you notice your machine is getting slow your pass is usually where the problem is you know it's, it's having to pass a long time you know let's say your machine can print a uh, feather print of about one and a half inch if you ask it to do six pass and then it'll take it about three inches to make an image then it's going to do that at, at, at three uh, three inches in six pass as against four pass right so you see that definitely if it has to do it six times to get the same thing uh the one he does uh, the shortest amount of time is going to be faster so that's how the passes work so you leave that so in this place uh 360 by 720 for black ink i always leave that minimum for ink cmyk i also leave it the way it is now uh you can just press auto set paper see uh, somewhere around here right if you notice here now when i set four pass notice what happens when i set this to 360 by 1080 and then change this place to six pass this thing changes to 2.274 the the closer it gets to darkest is how dark it is the closer it gets to lightness is how light it is right so 2.274 is higher on the spread so if i move this thing up now you see that it goes to three so three above is going towards lightness and then three below right is going towards darkness so that if i change this to 360 by 720 you see that it automatically it goes to two which means you would have a lighter print at 360 by 720 but you can compensate for the density of color by working with the uh, intensity and darkness here so the, if, if you're printing at a lower pass you might have to yank up 
the strength of the color. So think of this intensity as your contrast in Corel Draw or Photoshop. If you have a file that is looking kind of pale, what you do, you just gas it up with uh, contrast. So it makes it sharper and crisp because you're using lesser uh, color density. So I'll go back to four parts. See, it's 2% here, four parts. So if your machine is getting old, right? Like if your printer head is getting old, and uh, let's say if you use it, if you act up like six months, if you use like six months, and now it's already drawing line, but the lines are faint. You can always compensate for that faint lines by making this thing a little darker. So once I hit that zone, I just set my uh, lightness to 1.5 or 1.6 just to show up the printer while I shop for another printer in case uh, I don't have a printer head. So always feel free to adjust this, right? And the most important thing about this thing is your own experimentation, right? Uh, some of the things we I teach in this channel is so that you can have something to experiment with. So by the time you do experiment on your own uh, machine, you will know what setting is best for you, right? So uh, because uh, your color driver is going to be different from my color driver, if your color driver is exactly mine, then you have uh, what you call Xstat Expo. You, you know, it's just like I'm just giving you Expo. But if your color driver is different from mine, then you're going to have to do uh, your own experiment because it's imp absolutely impossible for me to do um, a video on how all the color driver is. Number one, I can't have all the machines in the world, so I can only speak from one particular locus and then hope that inspires you to pick up something on your own end. So, but then we'll leave this place as two. And then the last place you need to work on is this place where it calls adjust. Now, adjust here, you see that initially it was unchecked. It's, I, I'm the one that just checked it. What about FM screen? But ignore that, just leave it as FM screen is fine. I never use that. In case you've used it before, right? And you know how it works, you can leave a message in the comment section below and then someone else can learn from you. All right, so once you check this box, if you don't check this box, this thing is not going to work. So, but if you check it, then it can work and we can come to this place. So now you see here, it says use color management. So what this place basically is for is how you set the individual output of each color on your printer head. So your printer head has cyan, it has magenta, it has yellow, and then it has black. So uh, if you set cyan as 90, so in this current setup now, which is the default setup that comes with my color driver for my machine, you have black as 100, you have yellow as 100, you have magenta as 95, and you have cyan as 95. Um, don't forget, why is cyan and magenta lower than yellow and black? Because cyan and magenta uses two color strips, right? They use two color tubes to feed into your printer head. So that's why you, ha you might have to reduce it because the collective pump of colors from cyan and magenta would definitely be greater than black and yellow. So now, in this place, we have new uh, opportunities to be able to control our colors. So let's say your machine prints a reddish image, right? And for some wild purpose, it's just red. You don't know why it's red. Things are just red. Uh, what you can do is you can adjust your magenta. So in that case, you can adjust your magenta to about uh, 85, right? So that way, it'll, take, it'll use less red and then you balance up. Now, suppose your color machine also has uh, problems with cyan. You do the same thing. So if the, whichever color is the greatest is what you reduce. Again, some people have come to me and then complained about, you know, their, their blacks, you know, the, the blacks, the ink just washes off. You can't you see the text. It looks as if it's supplying too much ink. In that case, you can reduce your black again to 90, right? Yellow, maybe most of problems people have with yellow is that it's, it's not sharp. So most of the time we leave yellow as 100%, right? And then maybe drop the rest to 90. But like I said, this video is to help you experiment with your machine, right? You can take a snapshot of your, your computer and know, okay, what were the states before? So uh, any settings you do, you save it. If the, if the thing goes bad, you go back to that setting and set it up gradually like that. Then you'll understand how your machine works. So pretty much that's what I want to show you, that you have more control of your color on main top and that's why i always a, a advise that you print from main top right uh you know i, I have a video I, I posted recently how to print with a tools but i did say that it's not recommended because if you print on a tools you don't have the ability to correct colors like this so you must be able to print with main top if you can't fix that you might have to go to your manufacturer and then tell them this is the problem you're facing and they probably will correct it for you. so printing with main top is always the best because you can have access to color setups like this. So in my case, I'm just gonna close out all of these things because I don't need them. 
and i basically just set them up for this particular print now i hope this video has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell and i will see you in the next video i'm 